protégés, huh? He sent word you was decent. I hope so. This land is full of scum. I spend most of my time thinking they're better off left to it. Ah, they're goodens. Real goodens. Hard of pure cold. Go away, old man. I told you to go away. I'm going, Mr. Marshall. I'll go. Tom Davies, U.S. Marshal. See? I'm going. Been sent on a trail of a band of killers. I'm, I'm still going. This one, uh, Alfredo Montez. Killed a family up near Thieves Landing. Did some unspeakable things. He's one in four states and two countries. And I think he's holed up near Manzanita Post. You take a ride with me to take a look? All right, then. Let's go. You got your horses? I got a man been tracking him. When I left him, it looked promising, but we all know a trail can go cold in a heartbeat. Particularly if the one you're tracking don't want to get tracked. Fortunately for us, I point to Mr. Alfredo Montez not caring one fart for who is on his trail. Men been coming up from New Austin to join his merry band for days. Del Lobos, for the most part. So we're in good company. Y'all got bows? Something like that? Get them off your horses if you do. Coming up on the post. Now, I cannot be seen to get too close to any of this. I'd be causing a crime or whatever the damn law is. But the thing is, is, uh... Well, anyway, here's Lee. The fellow we're supposed to meet. Hello, Tom. Uh, friends, how's it going, Lee? Yeah, Montez is wily. You know it and I know it. He knows we're coming, Tom. He's holed up and they're waiting for us. Place is crawling with guards, patrols, everything. It's gonna be tough, you know? Mm. Well, that's what I pay you all for. <laughs> Paying us to do your job. Well, I can't go and kill a man in cold blood, Lee. Not why I don't have the evidence I need. But I can turn a good old-fashioned blind eye to an unfortunate dispute that I did not see and results in the death of some undesirables, the cause of which is unknown to me and other authorities. Is that clear? Nope. Not remotely. And that's perfect. <laughs> good luck in there. <sighs> All right. Come on, let's go. Follow me. We're going up into the fat country. Bring bows if you got them. Or anything won't scare the birds out of the trees. I told Marshal Davis. Tom says knows we're coming, I'm sure, but he won't know when. Camp could well be close.
Take him down or let him pass. It's all the same to me. There's a fair layer in the tracks there. Each short means the riders were slowing down. They is almost where they was going. And so are we. Come on. No need to be quiet no more. Hong says it's here. <laughs> Let me get him. You know what? All we need is the bastard's head. Come here.
Get these horses. We're going back to Manzanita. I got a head to give to the marshal. How do you get on? Just fine, just fine. Yeah. Here, here's his head. Oh, very civilized. Yep. <laughs> well, this should show folks that we're willing to bring law and order any way we can. Hmm. But this ain't Montez. Hmm? At least it ain't Alfredo Montez. That's his brother. Ah. Here's some money. Lee, here's yours. You lot, here's yours. <sighs> Less than I promised, but more than nothing. Given that you killed the wrong brother, it's mighty generous to me. <laughs> now, let's be clear. Jorge Montez was a no-good son of a bitch with a price on his head. Only in that family was he considered a saint. All right, friends. I'll be seeing you. Uh, maybe up in Van Horn, if you have any chance. <laughs> My next lead is that maybe uh, Alfredo Montez will be there. <laughs> Kill the wrong goddamn bastard. Well, I never... Well, these things happen, Lee. In fact, they happen more often than we like to admit. <laughs> 